In this short recording, I say more about calculating with rank dependent utility. I'll show you an easy general way to calculate the rank dependent utility even for continuous distributions in complete generality. First, I show you a way to calculate expected utility, a classical thing. We start taking for a random variable x the distribution function of x assigning to each real number alpha the probability that x will be less than or equal to alpha. And you know this very well from statistics courses and other things. Now it is convenient for us to do the distribution function in utility units, so we assign to each real number alpha the probability that x, the random variable x, yields a utility level less than or equal to alpha. Now it is convenient for us to take the dual, you need not really do, but you can easily do. So we take one minus that function, and maybe you start already seeing where we're going, because this one minus, this dual, is much like a rank. It's a probability of getting a better outcome. And of course, in rank dependent utility, we know very well how to handle ranks, so this looks like a good move. Next, one of the many ways to calculate expected utility of the random variable x is that first you integrate over the r plus, that dual distribution function. Then over r minus, you do one more, well, something that, like it is written here. And this is one of the many ways to calculate expected utility. Well known, often used, every book has it. Now, in rank dependent utility, it is very easy to get the rank dependent utility from this because you already see, wait a minute, in rank dependent utility, we are we're transforming the ranks. Well, here we see the ranks already written, so this is very easy. And indeed, here is the general formula that is valid for all distributions, uh, random variable x, continuous, discrete, whatever. You simply take the expected utility formula that we already saw, that we already know, and you apply the this probability weighted function to all the ranks, because that's what rank dependent does, and you're already home. That's it. This is a rank dependent utility. It can be seen that if you have discrete, in this course so far, we only look at discrete probability distribution. We, we wrote formula with pies that seem to be different, but you can see that this formula is really the same as all the formulas that we already saw. Uh, we're not going to, you take my word for it, or you do it as uh, voluntary homework, but this is really rank dependent utility and full generality. Now, the moral of the story is, if you want to do easy calculations, ring dependent utility, get the distribution function. Because once you have the distribution function, all these things can be done. So, that's, you know, in a way, the distribution function is already handling the ranking of the outcomes. That's why it's particularly suited for our purposes. For instance, in finance, people are often looking at continuous, like, log normal distribution, things like that. And people are often using equal formulas, as you saw in point four above, now, you very easily you can generalize, bring in all the novelties and insights of rank dependent utility, just you plug in the W function. And all this risk aversion pessimism can be brought in, can be seen, if that can better explain things going on in the financial market. Now, for instance, this insensitivity, inverse S shape, means that you move probability mass to the tails. You bring more risk. It's like bringing more risk, being more insensitive, without saying whether you like it or dislike it. But all kind of things maybe can well be explained and financed by that. So anyway, with this formula, you could do many calculations and many nice things. And with that uh, happy message, I will finish this short recording.